It is possible for problems to occur in one or more of the small knuckle-sized joints that are present either side of the vertebral segment along the length of the spine. These joints are known as facet joints. The pain may be aggravated when movement occurs in the facet joints, for example, when turning in bed or when walking. Awkward twisting or bending movements may cause acute injury to the facet joints. When this has occurred, it may be beneficial to use a cold compress on the injured area to limit the inflammation. 5 to 10 minute intervals 3 times a day. Anti-inflammatory medication and painkillers may also help. One theory that accounts for acute episodes of facet pain involving a sudden inability to move the spine because of pain that is stabbing or catching in nature and aggravated by attempting to bend the spine backwards or sideways towards the side of the pain is a facet lock. This is thought to involve a small piece of cartilage within the facet joint called a meniscoid that becomes caught and lipped between the two surfaces of the joint. This locking may gradually resolve itself after five to seven days or, when it is safe to do so, the joint can be released almost instantly with a quick click using manipulative techniques commonly used by osteopaths, chiropractors and some physiotherapists. When there is a long history or repeated episodes of facet type pain, this will often be due to degenerative problems that involve wear and tear of the cartilage surfaces of the facet joints. This may be due to secondary factors such as thinning of the intervertebral discs or postures that put undue pressure on the facet joints. Physical therapists can help by educating patients about posture and self-help strategies and by using techniques to release pressure around the joints. However, when significant wear and tear is involved, relief will not normally be permanent and the patient may have to undergo regular treatment to maintain the improvement. Patients with chronic facet problems should avoid movements that compress the facet joints, such as overarching the lower back or tilting the head right back to look up at the ceiling. For isolated facet problems in the lower back, benefit will often be achieved from abdominal strengthening and stretches such as hugging the knees towards the chest. This helps elongate tight spinal muscles and takes pressure off the facet joints. Some of these exercises are illustrated on our website www.nationalbackpainhelpline.co.uk For severe or persistent facet problems that are not helped by exercise and physical therapy, X-ray guided injections and denervations of the joint are sometimes used. The aim of these procedures is pain relief and they do not repair the damaged joint. Pain relief is usually only temporary, lasting up to several months. As a last resort, spinal surgery can be considered to remove the affected facet, but this is not without potential complications and side effects.